This is Matrix Lord 212, and I felt I needed to make a follow up video concerning Doctor Who and actually Jodie Whittaker because, um, for people that are new to my channel, and if you watch the old videos, maybe it was like, I don't know, 500 or maybe even more podcasts back, like talking Real Whovians cast, when they first announced. Our initial reaction, my initial reaction, when they first announced that Jodie Whittaker was a doctor, as you can see, I was pissed, angry, so raven mad about it. And we do so many casts on Doctor Who, you know? So it took a long time, maybe 500 podcasts, and... I am open-minded, so I had my fans, my subscribers, send me stuff. They're like, listen, she's amazing, Jodie Whittaker. You're going to love her. Look at this that she's in. Look at that that she's in. Look at this play with Christopher Eccleston. And after a while, I'm talking a while, um, I opened up to the possibility and opened up to, like, I, a little bit. The door opened a little bit towards, you know, maybe she could be good. Maybe I could like her. And then I started watching stuff that she was in. And the ultimate thing was when we got to see the leaked footage, I really liked what I saw from her. And... When we actually got to see the season, while I was against Chibnall, technically, for the writing ability, I thought she did the best she could with what she had. And I really like her doctor. I think she's cool. And I think that she has the potential to be an awesome doctor, a great doctor. And this is why my, my opinion of her has evolved and changed. Because, again... The more you have of the person in the role, you know, you have a better way to see what they could become, you know, and everybody deserves a chance. Jodie Whittaker deserves a chance. Everybody deserves a chance when they're in the role, you know, and that was the whole thing is that my opinion had evolved and changed and I was open minded. And you know what? If something she did struck me that I really loved, I would say it. And that's, if you watch the Real Whovians cast, not that you're going to see every episode of the Real Whovians cast, but if you watched from me flipping out, throwing canine across the room, you know, cursing like the most F words probably in history, to as the podcast went on afterwards, building up to her actually appearing and then her appearing, everything changed. And I believe I gave her first outing an eight. I really liked the the woman who fell to earth. I did not like Ghost Monuments. So there was like things that like I was ha I was happy with her, but I really wanted her to see her better under someone else. You know what I'm saying? Sort of like people would always want wonder what would it be if Neil Gaiman wrote for Peter Capaldi, his doctor, you know? So like I would want to see different, like, like experienced Doctor Who writers writing for Jodie Whittaker, you know? And we got all these, like, these new people, and it's like, oh, you know, she could do so much more, so much better. So that's why I'm very excited with Series 12, whether the BBC forced him to go back to, like, the, the Russell T. Davis and Moffat era and make it like that or not. Whatever there was a reasoning behind it. I'm very excited about Series 12 because I feel that the potential is there. The potential is there for it to be like the greatest. Like, it, it's just the potential is there. You should have, my whole opinion is, they should have thrown the kitchen sink at her. And I use that term a lot when she first started. And let me explain what that means. They should have, in her first year, threw everything at her. The Daleks, the Cybermen, you know, Jadoon, everybody. That should have been her first season, okay? To show that she's the doctor, she can handle the stuff. But you pumping out a mediocre season 
And now the next season, you're going to throw everything at her. My only worry is that if you throw everything at her, and if the rumor is true that she is going to regenerate at the end of the season, that's disappointing because I would want her them to throw everything at her and then have another season after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, So news is coming throughout the day. I'm getting stuff throughout the day. I'm getting people reporting to me and telling me different things about this rumor. So I'm going to be posting whenever I have something throughout the day. Um, like I just recently got something, you know, telling me stuff about the rumor, like, and I'm trying to find out and pinpoint one, where it started Two, did the person have an agenda and three is anything of the rumor true. So right now that's where we're at when it comes to the rumor. I'm trying to find out exactly who put it out. Because from what my sources is, is that the person that put this stuff out is someone that could have been a potential showrunner for Doctor Who and is basically throwing stuff to the wind so they can create an opportunity for them to be a showrunner for Doctor Who. So again, this is something which is deeper than we realize because if that's the case... That there's in, like, this person really is, like, wants to position, so he's trying to sabotage stuff, then that's bad. But again, I'm hearing stuff that, you know, I'm, it, it's getting deep. This whole thing is getting deep. I'm, I'm, this stuff is coming along, this information I'm getting. But the fact that this person could have been a showrunner means that he's probably somebody that works for the BBC that does shows or whatever that was considered and then passed up and maybe he's grimy about it. I don't know. I have to find out definitively every facet, every aspect of this rumor and I'm trying to get a handle on it where I could honestly say every key point, everything, how it went wrong, when this person put it out there, and what else this person has put out. You know, is this person actually someone? Because this is what I'm hearing, that the person was was a potential showrunner. So, like, could have been a potential showrunner to talk to who. So, again, maybe people are grimy, you know. But, but the thing that doesn't make sense is why pick last week? You know, why now? But what was the thing, the icing on the cake that, like, fueled this person's fire, pissed them off to, because they, they like, the rumor was taken so seriously because, because that person is connected or working with, in the fields of, like, being, you know, like, like, that, that's the whole point. It's like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's like... Obviously, it's not going to come from, like, just somebody, nobody, just putting out rumors. So, it had to be someone that was big that people can be like, oh, this is legit. But then you would forget where it originally came from, you see? So, me hearing this today that this is from someone that was grimy because they could have been the Doctor Who showrunner and they just whatever leads me to believe that something must have happened with this person in Chibnall or something that created this whole thing. Maybe they wanted to, if they didn't get the showrunner, maybe they wanted to be a writer, maybe they got like, you know, shafted and like, now nah, we don't want you, I don't know. Like maybe the person worked with Doctor Who, I don't know, like this has gotta be a reason. So as I find out information, I will make a video, okay? If there's no information, I'll make a video, I'll tell you, because I don't, like, there's a thing. There's so much stuff to talk about. And yes, I love Doctor Who. But I don't want to keep talking about this. Okay? I want to talk about other things. I want there to be other things to talk about Doctor Who besides this nonsense. So, as the news comes or doesn't, I'm going to report it. And hopefully there's something else to talk about for Doctor Who that we can cover on the Rehovian's cast. Like... You know, something that's substantial, something that's big. I mean, here's the thing I'm, I was thinking about, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. 
they filmed the Jadoon thing a while ago, right? So if they were filming, if they filmed that a while ago, and I don't really recall them doing like, like if it takes like five weeks to do, right? So they film two weeks. and I don't really recall that they oftenly do reshoots. Could it be that the Jadoon that they filmed the last week was not the episode of Jadoon that they did? That maybe the Jadoon are in the finale? Because, like, something's weird with that. I mean, maybe the Jadoon appear again, like in the finale. Or a special or something. I mean, like, maybe it, they don't just appear once. And then another thing that bothers me, too, is, like, when people were saying that, like, the last time the Jadoon appeared, Right? Like, the Jadoon appeared in Face the Raven, as far as I know. And in, was it either The Magician's Apprentice, The Witch's Familiar, one of them, right? They, they appeared with Capaldi. So it's not like they haven't appeared for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, I think people need to get the story straight with that. But, again, as in, as, we're going to just, I just want answers. I hate like, a puzzle that I can't solve. Like, I just want to know. Regardless of, like, freaking making videos about it, whatever. Because I, I make videos about everything, okay? Covered all different, like, shows. So Doctor is not the only show I talk about. But I'm just saying, like, I just want to know definitively what's going on with this rumor. Who started it? I don't know if I'm ever going to find out, but I'm trying. But who started this? Why they, like, what, I mean, we're hearing this now that... Why, like, basically, you know, might be some griminess. I don't know. But I just want to know definitively what's going on. So, so as soon as I get the stuff, I'm going to make a video about it. Um, as far as making casts about it, I mean, it's pretty early for me here. I don't know if anybody's around. I mean, I was ready to do a cast at, like, 6.30 in the morning, but nobody was around. So I'll probably just make videos about it. It's 8.48 right now in the morning here in, in New York. You know, it's five hours later in, you know, the UK. Which, if I can grab some of my peeps and do a cast, will be nice. But we'll see. All right? And again, there's so much stuff going on. Like, this is not the only thing we're going to be talking about today on my channel. You know? I mean, there's all the stuff I do. Like, video games and other... And movies and, you know, comic books. And tomorrow I'll be doing comic books all day. But, like, you know... There's stuff to talk about. This is not like my 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 channel is not just Doctor Who. It used to be mo just Doctor Who, and then it evolved, right? So there's plenty of stuff to cover, like the Star Wars stuff going on and all the other things. So as I get the news, I'll report it here. I'll give you an update regardless. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.